When they attend to this teaching, then, in the essential no essence of arising, they will be perfectly able to believe and understand the essential no essence of Marx and ultimate meaning. They will ponder, think, and really understand. For in their other dependent pattern of consciousness, they will cling to no imagined essences or marks. Because of a wisdom not permeated by language, because of an insightful wisdom not formed by language, because of a wisdom freed from the inclinations toward language, they will be able to destroy the pattern that arises dependent upon others. For, sustained by the wisdom power of this teaching, they will eternally be able to sever all causes for future rebirths forever. Because of this, they will be able to detest all conditioned states. They will be able to sever all their desires and be perfectly liberated. They will be able to be entirely liberated from the three defilements of passion, action, and birth. Moreover, Paramartha Samudgata, because they follow this path. All those sentient beings who belong to the word-hearer's vehicle will realize unsurpassed, quiescent cessation, as will all those who belong to the solitary enlightenment vehicle or to the Tathagata vehicle. For all word-hearers, solitary enlightened ones, and bodhisattvas, this is the one wondrous path of purification. This is the one ultimate purification. There is no other. It is with this underlying intent that I have preached that there is only one vehicle. It is not that in the world of sentient beings there are not sentient beings of various different lineages. For some are slow to understand, some are not so slow, and some are quick to understand. Good son, a person of the word hearer's lineage, turned toward quiescence, even if he were to be skillfully led by the energetic perseverance of all the Buddhas, would yet be unable to be led to sit upon the wisdom seat and realize full supreme awakening. This is so because from their origin they possess only an inferior lineage because their compassion has been weak, because they have lived in fear of suffering. Since their compassion has been weak, they have turned their backs upon deeds that benefit and gladden all sentient beings. Since they have lived in fear of suffering, they have turned their backs upon engendering any conditioned activities. I have never taught that one who turns his back upon deeds to benefit and gladden all sentient beings, who turns his back upon engendering conditioned activities, will sit upon the wisdom seat and realize supreme awakening. Therefore, I teach that such persons are termed word hearers totally intent upon quiescence. But if a person of the word hearers lineage were to turn toward wisdom, I would identify him as a bodhisattva. This is so because, having already been liberated from the obstacle of passion, when he receives the universal awakening of all Tathagatas, his mind will also be liberated from the obstacle to knowing. Because initially such a person was intent upon his own benefit, the intensity of his practices liberated him from the obstacle of passion, and therefore the Tathagata designated him as belonging to the lineage of the word-hearers. Moreover, Paramartha Samudgata, sentient beings have various commitments, both to the doctrinal discipline I have well presented and to the doctrine of the good teaching enunciated by my fully purified intent. But a Tathagata relies upon the three kinds of essential no essence, and with such a profound intent he has presented a summary of that doctrine when he preached the scriptures of implicit meaning saying that all things have no essence and no arising, are originally quiescent and are essentially in cessation, for such are their hidden and profound marks. Mm -hmm.